Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I have some strong opinions. And that is very rude. In this video, I have some strong opinions about my favorite subscription box, BoxyCharm. Keep on watching to see these products at work, as well as my thoughts on this month's box. Is it good? Is it bad? Keep on watching. All right, to start out, um, it's gonna be a little bit of a rough conversation. So I went from loving, and I mean loving, BoxyCharm, to the point where my mom subscribed. I put the BoxyCharm subscription in my bios, my descriptions. I love BoxyCharm. I, I think that it can be really, really good. And then I get this box, big hole in the front, open it up, no padding, no nothing. And I don't even have a product card. Now, that's never happened before, so I'm not going to say that that's a norm, but it is a little concerning to me um, as the quality of my boxy charms gets less and less. Now, I'm always very excited and gung-ho about my boxy charms, and I like the products I get in there. I really, really do. Sometimes they're fantastic. Sometimes they're hit or miss. I'm a fan still. But when I get things that aren't sealed, this isn't sealed, it was open, by the way, like this in my box when I got it. No sealant on this. I mean, it's, it's a little concerning, okay? No card, hole in the box, red flags here. And then I get no instructions on how to use these things and I'm still paying, you know, $25 a month for this. I should have those things. They should be mandatory in every box, and I know they are because I've been a subscriber for over a year now. Um, I just don't want to see BoxyCharm go downhill. I really, really love the subscription service. Um, I know there's been some questionable deeds in the past with BoxyCharm. I'll link some of the YouTubers that I've heard that from down below, their videos and everything. Um, I still like to keep a open mind and to think that maybe those things aren't true but slowly as I see things like this happening where things are just shaking around and and they're not correct it is a little concerning and I need to express that to anybody who watches these um, just make sure everything's sealed I'm still gonna use everything in the box hopefully I'll be okay I don't think that I'm in danger of anything it, it is just something I felt like I needed to say to anybody who might be listening with that being said let's get into my box um, I won't be able to tell you the prices of anything because they don't have the card um, let's start with this this is QMS Medi Cosmetics lip line corrector there's no instructions um, but it says all right, this is in German um, lightweight serum formulated to hydrate and plump the lips for a smoother youth youthful appearance skin type all so let's try this out um, oh, it shut out there's no instruction so I'm assuming I just rub this on my lips I'm afraid to get it in my mouth though oh oh doesn't taste good I don't know I guess I'm just not super into this um, lip serum lip line corrector I don't know that's is that weird to anyone else it's a little weird to me as a product as a whole all right I'm actually really excited to get this product this is the pharmacy very cherry clean I have the green one that I love Mm, this just smells so good. It looks like a little spatula here to scoop it out. It smells fantastic. I know a lot of people don't like that cherry smell, mm, but I really, really do. Um, this is just a makeup remover. Again, don't have the price of this. Gently massage onto dry skin for eye makeup removal. Close eyes, rinse with warm water, and wipe off. That's It's literally that simple with these. Um, so happy to have another one. I'm almost out. I have a mini one too of the green one that I've been savoring. So I'm happy to have this huge big container of it. It's a really exciting product to have. Then I got this Becca Cosmetics Lip Line Defy. It's red. Oh, fire red. And when it's... Oh. It is cherry. <laughs> cherry red. Oh my. 
All right, well, <laughs> maybe we'll get that on the lips today. It has a little sharpener in the bottom as well as like a, like a, like a rubber, rubber end. Do you blend it out? Do you blend this out? All right, I don't know what you do with the rubber end. <laughs> N not a clue what you do with the rubber end. Then we have this Appeal Ultra Cream Lipstick. Interesting packaging. It has like a, you pull the bottom out. Gonna be interesting to store. Oh, okay, it's a nice color. Like a brownie nude. Very, very pretty. Very, very creamy. A little satin. Definitely not gonna mix with a lip liner today, but I'm gonna make it work no idea on the price and then finally we have this living in color palette by hank and henry it is thick oh definitely a thick boy okay it's got a mirror but there's some interesting colors in there sorry if i'm blinding you interesting colors in there let me try this on. I'll put some of these on my eyes today and I'll be right back. All right, part of the try on portion, I'm gonna put the red lip liner on. I'm gonna get a little close to my mirror. Oh my. Oh. Well, you can't say it's not pigmented. Now, <laughs> I hate red lipstick on myself. Uh, I feel like I look even more washed out than I already am with it. So let's go on top with this lipstick. Now it's orange. I feel that it takes like a very specific type of person to and look to pull off red lipstick. I don't think I am that person and I don't think I typically have that look. That being said, I do think it looks pretty nice. Very opaque, the lip liner went on great. This lipstick went on great. It does smell like little kid play-doh makeup like play-doh um so i really am wondering how much this costs because it, it, it smells like it would be rather inexpensive you know what i'm talking about the cheap, lip, cheap lipstick smells all right well let's try the eyeshadow <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to keep it 100. I don't know if this is for me. We have definitely gotten better um, palettes in the past. This one was a little bit difficult to use. I didn't get much color payoff. Here, let me, let me swatch a couple for you. Here's the purple. Right, it's just, let me go in again. There, I mean, it's just, Let's try the green. Maybe the green is promising. It looks promising on my finger. The colors just aren't popping. Like, yes, it looks good, but it's patchy. I don't know if you could tell. I don't know, I have to like go back and forth, back and forth to even get that to show up. Here's another like purpley color. Okay, so that has the best payoff but these are also shimmer and i'm not getting much shimmer the matte uh brown blended really really nicely it's a lot darker than i thought um another thing about this palette uh sorry it's so shiny another thing about this is it has no real transition shade and no real highlight shade this right here is gold not champagne it, it's it's gold so I didn't like get, well, that's pretty. 
All right, well, maybe I used the wrong color, but I didn't get to really highlight my brow bone or my inner corner with this. I had to go into a, a highlight to get that down, but I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a couple more tries. If not, I'm going to pass it along. It's bulky packaging. I'd rather have it go to someone else um, than sit in my collection and, and collect dust. I'm a little indifferent about it. Let me swatch this matte blue here. This will be a tell all for me. Let's see. Okay. All right. I mean, I've seen better and I've also seen worse. So I don't know. I'll give it a couple more tries. If not, you'll be seeing this in a declutter. All right, everyone, that's all for this box. Um, you kind of heard my thoughts at the beginning of how I felt um, about BoxyCharm in general right now. Um, I feel like it needs a serious reality check. Um, you can't be sending open products. You can't be sending things without cards with instructions on how to use them. You just can't do that. Um, I got kind of cohesive products, I guess. I got the lip serum, a lip liner, and a lipstick, but I don't know. It just, it just doesn't feel exciting for me. I don't know. I, I was definitely not in love with this box. Um, and then with all the issues I had with it, I'm, I'm a little hesitant on the box. I still love BoxyCharm. This is like the first mistake it's ever made with me. <laughs> um, so it's got a couple more strikes before it's out. My mom got a hair straightener. I mean, a hair curler in hers. And I'm getting a $12 lip. I don't know how much this is. Let me not put that out there. But I'm getting a lip liner. You know, there's just some variations. Um, I wish I knew how much these things are. This is probably a little bit expensive. This is a little bit expensive. I know that. So I don't know. I don't know. Am I being too harsh? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Am I being too harsh? Do you have similar thoughts and opinions about BoxyCharm? Are you still a sub to BoxyCharm? Did you lose it? Sound off in the comments below. Let me know your guys' experience, what you think. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.